Hello and welcome once again to Telford Elim Kids Extravaganza. My name is Falsia. In today's series on nature of God, we are going to discuss on the topic God is our dad. We are all so blessed to call God our dad. Watch till the end to know more about it. Before we begin, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, for giving us this wonderful privilege of calling you Abba Father. We give you praise and glory. Teach us, Lord, to walk in your ways and guide us. We ask all this in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. So 
sent his son Jesus, he placed him in a very unusual family. That's because his mother, Mary, was engaged to be married to Joseph. But before they were married, Joseph discovered that she was going to have a baby. Joseph wasn't sure what he should do. He knew he wasn't the father of Mary's baby. Still, he loved Mary and didn't want others to harm her or think badly of her. While Joseph was trying to figure out what to do, he had a dream. In his dream, an angel told Joseph to take Mary as his wife because the baby she carried was God's son and Joseph would be Jesus' adopted father. It was all part of God's plan. When Joseph woke up, he did exactly what the angel said. He married Mary and together they got ready to bring God's son into the world. After Jesus was born, Joseph had another dream. An angel appeared again telling Joseph to take Mary and Jesus to Egypt. The angel said the evil King Herod was looking for Jesus, and if the king found Jesus, he would kill him. Joseph was a good father to Jesus. After all, he had adopted Jesus as his own. So he took his family to Egypt to protect Jesus and his mother from the evil King Herod. And when the angel appeared again to tell Joseph the evil king was dead and the coast was clear, Joseph took Jesus and Mary to Nazareth. He took his wife and adopted son home. Joseph was a carpenter. He built things out of wood. And as Jesus grew up, Joseph taught Jesus how to be a carpenter too. Even though Joseph knew Jesus was God's son, he raised Jesus as his very own. He became the father of the Son of God, and it was all part of God's plan. All of this is very important because the Bible tells us that when God sent Jesus, he made a way for us to be adopted into his family. God made a way for us to become his very own children. And when God adopts us, we don't just become like his children, and he doesn't just become like our father. He becomes our real heavenly father, and we really become his children. So when you think of Christmas, think of Joseph, the adoptive father of Jesus. And remember how when God sent Jesus, he made a way to adopt us and make us his very own. In today's Bible story, we saw God is our Heavenly Father. He is more than our earthly father. Some of us do not have earthly father. God is our faithful father ever. In the story of prodigal son, the son leaves his father, spends all the money, but when he returned back to his father, his father embraced and forgave him. That is how God's love is for us. No matter how far we stay away from God, if we call on the name of Jesus, he is always willing to take us back and forgive us. Whoever believes in him are saved. We are all the children of God. God adopted us as his sons and daughters. What a wonderful privilege it is. God loves us so much that he chose you to be his child. He protects you, provides you with all that you need and he cares for you. You can talk to him anytime and trust him always. The memory verse for today is in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 5. So he decided long ago to adopt us. He adopted us as his children with all the rights children have. He did it because of what Jesus Christ has done.
draw the outline of your hand on a thick colored sheet and cut it according to its size as shown in the video. Then write the verse 1 John chapter 3 verse 1 We are called children of God. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, we give you praise and glory. We are so blessed to be called the children of God. Teach us, Lord, to walk in your ways and to guide others to follow your path. Bless all those who are watching and their loved ones. Protect us and keep us safe. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. Thank you for watching. Hope you all have a blessed week. Take care. God bless you and see you all soon. Bye.